Okay, welcome everyone to this uh, panel. It's uh, number six in our in our series, and today we're going to have, in my opinion, a very very interesting subject, which is reviews, uh, a very undervalued subject, not by the panelists here for sure, but most people, I think, uh, don't realize the importance and the the risk associated with reviews as they are managed today. In, in what I call Web2, what we call Web2. Uh, let me quickly present our panelists. And actually, I'm going to let you guys um, introduce yourself. Um, I'm going to start with Joanne from Holland, I think, right? That's right, yeah. I live in uh, Amsterdam, right. but I'm British. OK, cool. All right. So what, what are you doing? So in... um, I've worked for uh, 27 years for a wholesale tour operator. And then I recently uh, founded Reviews for You. Um, which is basically helping uh, hoteliers, property managers and owners uh, respond to their online reviews due to the fact that they may not have the time or manpower to do it themselves. Okay, great. So you basically help the reputation management. You, re you reply to reviews and you, you basically take care of this very important part of the, let's call it the yeah. sale process. We were okay. we we reply to the reviews, but also analyze the data so that um, uh, allows hotels to do a little bit of strategic marketing whilst they re respond to their reviews. Great, perfect. Um, then drawer, uh, let, let me first introduce wh why you're here because uh, it was very interesting. I, I was invited in Tel Aviv last year. That, it was August, so it's a year already. And uh, yeah. I, I, by Moria Rockman from Smiling, Money House, and I presented at Guesty uh, Trips, and then you said, "Let's talk." And we met the next day, and you gave me this mind-blowing idea. But I'll let you talk about it later yourself. And tell tell us a little bit uh, about yourself. Okay, uh, I'm uh, I'm uh, coming from uh, entrepreneurship for for many years. I've, I've seen uh, many transformations in the world already. One is data communication, one is data over mobile, and the, the other one is uh, the whole uh, 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 modernized uh, internet communications and, and, and uh, shrinking the world into uh, uh, one small uh, 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 screen. Uh, I'm working, uh, I was uh, a part of uh, three exits. Uh, with startups, um, uh, uh, private investor, uh, restarted companies, and uh, focusing mainly on strategic uh, consulting to uh, young entrepreneurs uh, in uh, in different areas. And uh, when uh, Luca presented uh, trips in uh, in Tel Aviv, uh, I told him like uh, you know uh, you want to go for a very big vision of how you get people to start uh, hiring rooms and everything on your system. Maybe you start with a smaller scope to get traffic and then uh, uh, start to get people to to book uh, hotels or rooms on on your system. And then we started to discuss, and I, I just uh, I was just frustrated from from uh, reviews. Uh, uh, of properties that I saw or, or visited in the world. And I said, like, the problem is that you have different reviews when you go to different platforms. And why you not you first collect all the reviews and make people own the reviews? Then we started to discuss and, and look, uh, look it forward. So Great. So I'll synthesize this as like backing up the reviews on the internet, taking them away from the OTAs. And uh, we're gonna talk about this a bit later. And that this really takes us now to Christophe because Christophe is doing this. Um, tell us what, what you're doing basically, because it's very interesting. I found out what, what you do maybe a month ago and it's uh, very important and very interesting. So. Yeah. Tell us what so, you do. Uh, first of all, uh, well, I'm Christophe, French, uh, based in uh, Madrid, so Spanish by adoption. I, I've been there, there for, for 20 years. Um, I have a digital marketing background. I've been working uh, 15 years in different uh, big corporations in, uh, in digital marketing. And I started in the, in the short-term rental uh, in, uh, in 2005, first as a property owner. 
And uh, in 2016, I definitely concentrated concentrated in, on uh, short-term rental and uh, uh, founded my my own property management company, Costa Carpedium. We manage uh, 40, 40 apartments and villas and, and Costa Blanca. And more recently, uh, co-founder of, uh, of Reviews. So this is uh, something uh, I, uh, I I've been like uh, obsessed for quite a long of time on uh, how to to get the most out of my uh, my reviews on my on my own website. Uh, I've been searching for for solutions, but uh, all the solutions uh, I found were were too limited uh, respect to what we need in uh, in our industry. So that's uh, how, uh, with my co-founder, we decided to 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 make a, a platform specialized in, in, uh, in our in our industry. So basically, uh, what we do is uh, we we have a a double commitment, um, a first commitment with uh, with property managers and uh, and owners. To to get them control over their over their reviews, get the most out of them in their own website. So the the result is an increase of uh, trust and credibility. Uh, it has a SEO impact on their on their own website. Uh, it improves conversion. They also have a, a dashboard uh, to internally uh, analyze their their reviews and see what they can improve in their business. Uh, and set uh, use reviews like like a new KPI in their in their business. So a very very interesting uh, feature, and uh, and also we make a backup copy of every every single reviews they they have. We we are a, a 360 or all in one review aggregator. It means that we automatically uh, automatically collect um, reviews from uh, from a big OTA, the big four, uh, Airbnb, Booking, uh, TripAdvisor, and, uh, and VBO. Also, Facebook. This is the the first one we we started with. We will include more more listing sites and more portals in the in the future. We also allow uh, property managers and owners upload the reviews they have from other other listing sites. We we do not support uh, at the moment, and also uh, they can uh, ask direct reviews to their to their direct bookers. So this is the the um, the, the first. Um, uh, commitment with property managers and owner, and the second commitment is uh, respect to uh, guests. Uh, as a third party, we 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 want to to become a, like a, a trustable third party to to ensure that all the reviews we we display throughout the, throughout the the widget, our widget, are um, uh, all the, the 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 reviews we we automatically collect are real real guest reviews because they come from trustable. <coughs> sorry. From trustable sources, and uh, we do not allow um, property managers or owner um, uh, selecting only uh, showing, for example, only the five star reviews. Uh, they, they show we, we show absolutely all the reviews, so it's uh, it's a real uh, and clear uh, um, um, proof of, of trust and confidence that uh, all the the reviews uh, we, we display are are, are real and um, and um, not only the, the four or five star reviews uh, shown. So we do also display the, the responses. So if you get bad reviews in any way, you, you have the, the possibility uh, as, as in any OTA to, to write your your response and we will uh, also collect your <clears throat> your responses. Okay, so you, you um, basically, oh, sorry, sorry, I thought you were Yeah, yeah, no, in, in summary, uh, it's what, what, uh, what we are and what we do. Okay, uh, let me ask a question before I forget. Uh, I, I, I recently found out that booking.com uh, displays only the last two years of reviews, and then now they are extending to three years because of COVID. Is that true? How does it work? Well, on, on our side, we we collect every every review that is uh, that appear on the on the on the website. On, uh, on so if uh, if they decided to show only the the three the last two or three years, in that case, we we will only show the the last two or three years. Okay, uh, it, but from the from the moment uh, you we collect the, the reviews as, as we make a backup uh, a backup copy of every every single uh, review, um, even if they, they decided to 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 show only the imagine the, the last five uh, five reviews, you will have in your in your dashboard yes. all the all the all the history, backing up all the backing history up. of the reviews. Yeah. That's a great part. You're backing up something which is out of our control. Let me ask you, Joanne. Joanne, is it Joanne or Joanne? Sorry. Joanne. Joanne, sorry. So, jo Joanne. 
how is it working in Booking? Do you confirm it's like they don't show sure. every review? But no, it is. It's a, they only have the last, well, as far as I, I, I checked, they only have the last two years. Um, they only show the last two year reviews. Um, but TripAdvisor shows all year reviews, all the years. Okay, so um, this confirms the fact that your reviews, well, first, you do not own them. And, you know, you may have worked 10 years with Booking with thousands of reviews, but only the last two years. Now, I think three are going to be displayed. And unless you have a service like reviews, like the one uh, Christoph is, is, is offering, you lose them. So I don't know how many people realize that. So that's the, the basic assumption of the whole discussion we're having today. Let, let me quickly introduce, you know, tell you why we're here, why we're discussing this. Um, th there is this transition which is happening on the web. We are in web two. That's the one I call the web of corporations. And we are going slowly uh, towards web three, which is the web where we get back control of our data. And in terms of reviews, uh, in Web3, we will loan them again. So if you get a review from a guest, it's not going to be in the hands of the OTA. We, the Web3 separates powers a bit like there's been a separation of state and church. The Web3 separates OTAs and reviews or OTAs and listings. So we have more, we're going to have more control, but this is going to take years, right? So in the meantime, we need uh, solutions like reviews from Christoph, and and so we start backing them up in a way, right? Uh, the the reason I'm, we're doing these panels is to discuss together with leaders in the industry how to you know what to do in order to improve uh, our standing, and uh, what Christoph is doing is is a great way to do this now, and. Um, and then the other reason is that to get ready, to get the industry ready for Web3, because there's very little, award, little awareness of what's going on and what's going to happen. And time is passing quickly. Things are happening behind the scenes at an incredible rate. So we want the strips to not only to build a platform, but also to tell the industry, guys, this is what are going to happen. Let's, let's move now, because the sooner the better ask um, Christoph here is what well, you are not you don't have APIs with them right you scrap you scrape their website right. what is your relation with them um, you do this are they okay with this are they not gonna be okay in the future how, how, how does it work about this what, what's the, what are the rules and what do you see happening in the future with that well basically we, we didn't really invent the the wheel because um, um, review aggregation and uh, review widget is something that uh, already exists for for long in uh, in other industries and even in our industry other uh, review widgets but let's say generic uh, review widget already do do the same the what, what we bring there is uh, the focus on uh, property owner and property managers to bring uh, all the value only for for our for our industry and um, well in in our view uh, um, yeah, we, 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 are, we are clearly uh, in favor of, uh, of direct booking, uh, but it's absolutely not something uh, that go against uh, OTAs. I mean, uh, we, we, OTAs are uh, obviously uh, very important uh, players, and, and, it's, and our vision is to go, to go together and to offer in the short-term rental um, ecosystem um, the best experience and the best tools for property managers uh, to market their properties and after to the to the guest to to choose uh, the, the 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 correct place they, they they want they want and they need for their for their holidays um so basically um we the what, what we want to do also is to 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 leave in the hands of the the guest to book where 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 he wants what i mean is uh with our uh, widget we we will so um, show where where the, the review comes from uh, and we link to the to the to the to the OTA and to the to the, to the listing site. So at the end, um, we are uh, mainly focused on direct bookings. But a guest that would like to to book uh, directly on the OTAs can do it perfectly, and it's uh, perfectly fine. A direct booking uh, will always have a, a better um, value from any OTA booking, of course. But any book OTA booking has always uh, uh, higher value than no bookings. So 
our our um, our uh, uh, vision is uh, let let's go let's let's go to, together in that. Um, we know that there is a the guest that will uh, always prefer booking through through the OTA for for any reason because the booking uh, system is uh, is easier than on your own website because uh, they are just used to it because of the customer service. So our vision is um, if uh, if your guests want to book through the OTA, fine, uh, give him the the links uh, through through the, the widget to to see all the reviews, and if they want to book through the OTA, it's fine. Obviously, uh, you will always have a better condition than uh, the, the OTA on your own website and booking uh, directly with you. So the main focus and the main uh, advantage will be uh, to for the book for the book direct. Uh, but um, we absolutely do not uh, go against the, the the OTAs. And if the, the guests want to book through the OTA, it's uh, it's perfectly fine for us. Let, let me ask Joanne um, a philosophical question. Uh, which is who owns the reviews? I mean, who is the final, the ultimate person or, or company who owns the review, in your opinion? Um, I know well, it's a hard one. In my opinion, I suppose the content should be owned by the author, but I think realistically it's owned by the channel that it or the platform that it's written on. But for me, another question would be, so long as the properties, hotels are responding to the reviews, um, who owns the response? Is that, is that still the hotelier? I think in an ideal world, we want, the, we want the author, we want the property to own it, but realistically, at the moment, it's owned by the platform that it's written on. Just to tell you, uh how is this going to work in, in Web3, now it's already working in Web3, is the, as you said at the beginning, the, the person who writes the content owns the content. So in Web3, reviews are 100% owned by the, the writer, so the guest in our case. Uh, Dror, uh, you, you were going to second, I think you didn't lose anything. Um, let me ask you a question. You heard what Christoph does, right? Does mm -hmm. you, it reminds you what we discussed in Tel Aviv, right? It's pretty much uh, uh, similar, but in a small, in a different way. Maybe it's a good time for you to introduce the idea. And okay. Uh, uh, and Joanne, uh, I, I heard also Joanne. Uh, 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 yes, theoretically, I think that the owner of of a review is the one who wrote it. Currently, the situation is that the platform is owning uh, practically the review, and 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 I, somebody as as a property owner, cannot really even. Uh, and, and what Christophe is doing is already a very very big uh, big step forward to show reviews from other platforms because I do not really care uh, where the where the guest came from. Uh, I, I should own my reviews, and if I did a good job for somebody who came from uh, uh, one platform, uh, somebody from the other platform should be able to, to see it. Uh, uh, so uh, I would I would say that this is a property of of the service provider, i.e., the finally it's the, the the property owner. You you book you book a property, and I book properties in many places in the world. Finally, you know, the, the difference is made by any means, by the host. The, 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 uh, you know, uh, uh, I gave a, a great review to a host in Italy that uh, it was just unbelievable. The guy, you know, uh, uh, we got into the apartment, he waited us with the two bottles of, of wine, with the balcony open and all this kind of stuff. And you know, this makes a big difference. And, and when we say thank you for the wine, the guy all of a sudden asked me there for the next day, when are you going out? I said, like, uh, we're going uh, on a trip for, for the most of the day. Uh, we'll come back in the evening. So uh, can I uh, get into the apartment? Yes. And guess what? Another bottle of wine or something. And, and you know, I, I went and bought him a present when we left. So uh, this kind of a review is, is a huge, is, is a huge, uh, I would say currency for this guy. This guy really deserves it. Not, not the platform that they book from, 
nothing. This guy did a super great job, okay? And and uh, uh, I, I would really like to see a world when people who really do the work really own the destiny. This is why we, we started to talk about this idea even, that, that you know, the platform should be a, should should allow me as a, as a property owner to log in all my reviews from my history. They cannot tell me uh, which reviews to, to put in or not. I, 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 one thing, I have to be super honest and I have to to try to, to provide trusted reviews and, and, and Web3 definitely bring it in. You have a very good point actually, because uh, I give a review to the property manager. So I, I create it, but I give it. So it does make sense to say it should stay in in the possession of the of the property manager of the host i never told about like that uh, but either way in in, in web3 it, it it's in under the control of the writer but if you have a thousand reviews uh, the chances that thousand people one day meet somewhere and they make a ceremony to delete your reviews is pretty low so you basically won't lose your reviews uh, anytime you may lose a few or they may be edited but that's another story. So it doesn't really, at least thinking about it now on the fly, doesn't really matter uh, if it's the guest or, or the host. What really makes, uh, what, what in my opinion distorts the whole thing is that it is in, in the hands of the platform. Because the platform facilitates it, yes, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be there without the platform, but at the same time it's written, the content is written by a person for another person, and it's about, a, a stay, a listing. It's not about. It. I don't write a review on Airbnb to review Airbnb. I'm reviewing the apartment. That's the whole point. So I see this as a distortion, and I see this as uh, capturing value by the by the OTAs, which is in their you know their point of view is perfectly fine and understandable. But we should get out of this situation as soon as possible because we've been building. For 10 years, let's say if you if you started with Airbnb, for 10 years we've been building reviews and uh, we own zero of them and they could be gone tomorrow uh, by many ways. It could be the platforming, it could be because booking only showed the last two years or we stopped working with Airbnb because Airbnb changes the rules, whatever. If we get out of the platforms, we, we lose all reviews. Um, John, what is your view? Because you talk with people with hotels every day about reviews what is their general feeling about this about the ownership of reviews is this something they feel they think about it or they just consider them as as written in stone i think that um what you said at the beginning about the fact that um reviews are undervalued um i actually don't think many people think about it as quite as deeply as that um, because unfortunately, the majority of hotels, um, property owners don't seem to respond to their reviews. So um, I think that whilst they're really influential to the consumer, I think we've got a long way to go. Um, first of all, we need to try and change the perception so that they do start to respond to reviews. There are a multitude of reasons why they should do this. You know, the, 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 more, um, the more keywords that are used, by them responding to a review, brings them more visibility on search engines. Um, you know, with, with literally millions or billions of, of people a month looking at, you know, searching on Google for hotels, it's also a, a great platform to do sales and marketing, which most properties don't, don't do. So I think before they think about the ownership, we've got some way to go. But what I would say is that a lot of people are not so trusting in that the reviews are genuine, um, especially properties that might have quite a few negative reviews. They're convinced it's, you know, the neighbor or their competitors or a guest that's had a bad stay. Are, are you talking about reviews on booking or also like TripAdvisor, which no. makes it a different thing? Yeah, well, booking, in order to leave a review on booking, you have to be a, a, a yeah. paid up guest. But I'm talking about the other review sites. Like TripAdvisors and the others. Okay, these are, these are yeah, the, yeah, a bit uh, less trustworthy in general. So, okay. Yeah, yeah. just, just so, what, sorry. One thing uh, on this: the uh, 
there is a survey, a very interesting survey from Bright Local about that, showing how 68% uh, of uh, uh, consumers, it's not only on uh, our uh, industry, but uh, probably really also apply, 68% uh, of uh, consumers uh, question the authenticity of, re of, uh, of reviews if they do not come from, uh, from trustable sources. So, I mean, uh, there's a big issue in that, and um, uh, they really need to, to make sure that um, the, the reviews come from real guests uh, to, to, to ensure they, 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 yeah, it's, uh, they, are, they are trustable. But they, so, they, mean, they don't trust the ones in the advisor or the one, all of them? They, they do not. They do not specify. Um, they do not specify uh, uh, from which source they, they wouldn't rely. But I mean, obviously, um, um, a source like Booking.com or uh, Airbnb or VRBO, where where uh, you know the guest has stayed, and you can't write a review if you if you didn't stay, are obviously much more uh, trustable than TripAdvisor or Google, where where anyone can can write a review. Um, Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I mean, uh, this shows the, the importance of, uh, of uh, showing trust and uh, and um, yeah, the, the, that the, the the guest may make sure the, the reviews they are reading are, are trustable, and it also shows that uh, in at the end in, in our own website, if we only show a, a few five star reviews um, that just come from our own website, it doesn't bring much because there is always a adopt if you didn't moderate, if you didn't uh, erase the, 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 the lower uh, ratings. So that's the, but, that's but the point. Basically, you know, uh, as Dror was saying, uh, reviews are a currency. Uh, reputation is a currency. The moment you take it out from an OTA and bring it on your site, if you fake the currency, it loses value. So what you're doing in not allowing direct booking websites to filter reviews, it's of course, I mean, it's, it has to be done like this. I mean, it's like, otherwise, the, everything you do will lose lose its value. So Correct. reputation is is definitely a currency here. And the, the problem we had so far with Web2 is that uh, inter the internet cannot deal with reputation. Uh, the, the Web2 is just data. So the internet until now is a very good protocol to send the data fast and cheap, mm -hmm. but it doesn't deal with reputation. Basically, you cannot trust what you read on the internet. You trust the brand behind it. So if I go in a hotel website, I won't trust what I read. If I go in booking, I trust what I read because I know booking doesn't have an interest to show me good reviews of your hotel. Um, well, the good news here is that the web is evolving and is learning to deal with trust. We're going to get to a point where when you read a review on the web, it doesn't matter if that's behind a big corporation, you will trust it because it's written on the blockchain. So you know that it cannot be modified. This is a difficult thing to explain, but uh, we, we will understand it as, as it goes on. Um, I'd like to ask Dror again, could you tell us what your proposal was at the time to backup reviews basically connected with the blockchain the the the, the proposal uh, uh, was to to really treat it as currency and 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 on the blockchain uh you can you can put rules that you have to obey to in order to uh, uh apply for for a review and those rules cannot be changed uh so if you build a system on blockchain that uh, you have to obey to, to certain rules that you have to present, let's say, a certificate of staying at that property uh, uh, on the blockchain and, and then write a review, then the reader who will read that review can have 100% trust that it is verified that you are a true uh, a reviewer and you really stayed at the property. So you resolve the whole the whole concept of distrust. It, I'm sure it's really hard to understand for people who haven't been exposed to this rabbit hole of blockchain, cryptocurrencies, and Web3. So let me show you a very short video in which uh, I leave a review on the blockchain, and I hope it makes it a bit, a bit clearer. It's a YouTube video. 
and then we can discuss the other idea on how to back up. Tell me, please, if you see this video. We, we see it. Great. Now I can leave a review. I'm very happy with the apartment. So I'm going to go give a five star and write something nice here. The review is also a transaction. I'm writing on the blockchain. Again, this is just between me and the host. Nobody controls uh, this account. Nobody controls the review. So for the first time in, in actually a whole is history as a host, uh, this host, Giovanni, is getting a review which no corporation can cancel. It cannot be deplatformed from this account. He cannot lose this review. So this is for the first time a real asset for him. And for me as a guest, well, I'm the only person who has control on this review too. So it's again, uh, I have control over my data. I'm not giving my data. I'm not losing control on about what I do for the benefit of any corporation. We just skip the corporations here and we did a real peer-to-peer -peer booking. Okay, success, done. So now this uh, booking is uh, completed. It's on the blockchain. There's all the information here. And there's even the public transaction history of this booking. So let's say when it was accepted, if you go on, on these links, you're going to actually get access to the blockchain. This is the transaction done on the Ethereum network. Now we're getting a bit more technical here. But basically, this can be seen by anybody. Anybody can see there was a real booking, how it's been done, how much has been paid, and, and so on. What, what you've just seen is, is a review actually happened on, on Web3. So it's already here. And I'm sure it's interesting for both of you, Joanne and Christoph, because this is, your, this is what you're doing. So uh, first of all, let me ask you, do you, did you understand what was going on here? Would you like me to explain a bit better? I mean, I think you're showing that it's the, the, the proof that you have stayed in this hotel because you've got your the stay date and the cost and the price that you paid. So this is proof, right? So this is part of your series on this blockchain. Is that right? Um, it's your booking. Not, not quite, uh, because <laughs> there, I could have done this without actually going there. But it, it's just like in booking Airbnb. I, I have to have paid that I, I paid. For, I actually stay in that apartment. Uh, I paid for the apartment and the transaction, the money, you, you can actually see it on the blockchain. Uh, when I send a Bitcoin to drawer, this Bitcoin transaction is visible to everyone. So I cannot lie about the fact that I actually sent the money to the host. In the same way as I cannot lie to, in booking or Airbnb that I made a booking because they guarantee that, right? So you know, you as a viewer of the review know that there's been a payment, okay? You don't know if actually I've been there. I could have faked the, I could have not gone there, but I paid the money. And you can see if like, if I haven't been there, if the money was sent back, it, it's kind of basically guaranteed that there's a booking behind. And once the booking is guaranteed, you can see that I leave a review, the same person who booked and paid left a review. And uh, you know that this has been written by, the, by this person. So it's the same level of trust you have towards a review on the OTA. The main difference technically is that the review in, in Booking is written on Booking servers and you need to trust Booking and you trust Booking. The reviews in this case are written not on trip servers. They are written on the blockchain, on the web basically. <clears throat> now the web is able to show everyone what is real and what is not real. I know it's really hard to wrap your hand uh, your head about around this because it's, it's as difficult as, as, as to explain why Bitcoin works basically. So uh, just trust me right now that this is going to be a new source of truth. You are going to believe these things because they are true. Uh, Christoph, you are, you have any question about this? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, no. The only question is uh, on, on blockchain. Uh, is it uh, as far as see it, it's uh... Yes, you can make sure it uh, it uh, it comes from a real uh, real person, but you you don't know who is the, this person, right? Yeah, it's pseudonymous. So yes. it's anonymous. Oh, okay, it's pseudonymous it's, it's because it's it's related to the transaction. So yeah. uh, what you know on the blockchain are, are account numbers, like uh, uh, like looking at the, the bank uh, report. You see account numbers and transfers and everything, and you see 
you can see then an account number doing the or, or filing this uh, this uh, review okay so you can correlate the account to the account that reduced all right and then uh, what what can you do with this uh, with this review can you uh, i mean um, Sorry, sorry, I interrupt you. Yeah, no, that's, that's just the, the question. The, the 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 host and the guest can make use of this review uh, as, as they want and, uh, and display it. Uh, maybe yeah, not we are separating website. things. The, the review now is written on the blockchain. It's written on the internet, okay? And the OTA can choose to display it. So Trips, in this case, displays it. Trips facilitated the um the creation of the review and other otas can do the same so you as a guest you wrote the review and you as a host got the review as a present if you want to read it in the way drawer presents it and then you can say okay i have a thousand reviews on the blockchain i want them to be displayed on every single website i'm part of and so a new ota comes in and tells you can i display can i have your listing and you say okay and your listing comes with the reviews so the reviews are centra centered on you as a host. They're not more anymore siloed in, in the OTA. So the currency of the review becomes your asset for the first time, okay? And, uh, and you can use it everywhere. Good. So that changes it, a bit. It's used, uh, uh, Christophe, on, on your own website. You can expose those same reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, with with the level of trust, uh, you know, Web three is is a kind of of a trust system. It's a system that uh, that uh, 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 remove the mediators uh, for trust, and 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 then you can trust the system itself. The, yeah. the, the web itself. So yeah, yeah. amazing. See, see this in a, in a five ten years uh, time frame, you're gonna have two kind of reviews: uh, the ephemeral reviews from the OTAs and the hard reviews from the blockchain. And uh, a company like yours is, is probably going to have to deal with both of them. So you are hardening ephemeral reviews, what you're doing today. You're taking ephemeral reviews, you're backing them up, you're making them harder, like uh, more resilient, okay? Right. And you are leveraging them. Then there's going to be new reviews from the blockchain, which are already hard reviews, and you can still use them to do all the analysis and all the rest. So it's kind of changing the way you're going to work. But, you know, for, let's say five years from now, there's going to be 10,000 reviews on the OTAs and 1,000 on, on Web3. So it's not going to happen overnight. It's just going to open a new channel for you, basically. Yeah. Don't know, uh, Look, there, is a, there is a question yeah. on, the, on the chat from Ted Miller. Oh, uh, I need to see. Uh, you want to relate. Let me see, because I got the chat closed here. Oh, many, many. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, Antonio confirmed that booking displays only last two years. Thank you, Antonio. Um, Antonio, I'm going to answer Antonio first. Did you mean look and draw that the reviews done on the blockchain cannot be referred to a person? They refer to an account on the blockchain belonging to a person who's anonymous. If the person decides to be anonymous, then yes. If the person says, no, I want to connect my picture and my name, yes. In trips, in the example you've seen, it's connected to my name. Okay, so I have this choice. You as, a, as an OTA could say, I don't want anonymous or pseudonymous uh, users. So in that OTA, there's only people with, with real names. Or other OTAs could say, I don't care if there's a name behind, just get all the bookings. And you as a host could say, no, I only want uh, people I see the picture of, or I don't care, I just look at the reviews. Now, ask yourself a question. Does the picture give... Well, the pic does the picture give trust? Yes, because we are social animals, but the real trust is in the reviews because I could have a picture and I look like an honest person and be the worst person on the world. Well, actually reviews are much more telling, right? That's a classic thing with the guy with a suit and tie comes and steals your money, right? <laughs> That's not, you you want to know what the guy did before, okay? And uh, still going on with Antonio, he says, let's all bear in mind that anonymous reviews will have a lower degree of reliability than those with a name picture. Yeah, that remains to be seen. But again, it's, it's a choice of, of the host, of the guest, sorry, of, of the host who, who accepts this kind of, of people or not. Because on, on Web3 platforms, 
you can decide not to accept everyone like you have forced to accept in booking your airbnb right you can say i just want people from this kind of otas because my uh my listing my my property is good for those people like i want only families i don't want young people for instance and um so yeah we will see what happens that's how it works and then we have and that's why we're discussing we have to adapt to this new world we, i haven't invented web3 that's how it works. Let's try to make it work for us in this industry, right? And uh, let me go to Ted. Ted Miller. So reviews in the blockchain will eventually replace any other form, I guess form, and will be owned by the property owner, not a third party, including property managers. Reviews will also include property owners' reviews of guests and reviews of property managers. Yeah, there's also these other reviews of, you know, property. That's a problem we have today in OTAs, right? You can re you review a guest as much as you want, and then they book from another from another um, account. But it doesn't really matter if the guest has ten or twenty reviews, right? While on the blockchain, you can say, "I only want bookings from people who have at least ten reviews with at least I don't know four point five stars," and you are filtering your guests. So this makes a more granular approach also for us as as providers. So I presume that there's the possibility then to reply to these reviews. Of course. This is already possible in this example we have. But bear in mind, again, this is just one first implementation, but there's going to be thousands of implementations. Because we see today the big four, forget the big four, there's going to be the 4,000 or 40,000, because it's going to be much cheaper and faster to build an OTA because you can get all the listings and all the reviews as long as the host agrees. You, they don't have to re-upload the listing and create reviews from scratch. So expect what somebody I really admire calls a tsunami of innovation to come in this, this space. And, and, and by the way, uh, uh, the blockchain also allows you to really pay from the same account that you uh, put the review. Uh, so, uh, 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 blockchain is intended uh, as a trusted uh, uh, network to really move not only equal to, to currency, but currency itself as well. So, yeah. uh, um, uh, people can, can easily build their reputation as, as uh, guests uh, with sticking to one account when they pay uh, for... for uh, for hotels, rooms, and 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 uh, property for. Exactly. Uh, so, Joanne and Christoph, what is your feeling like? You know, on the fly about this. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a big change, but again, don't worry because it's gonna become slowly and it comes parallel to what we have already. And it's not my fault. It's just gonna happen. It's Web three just coming up, emerging. I haven't done anything. <laughs> don't blame me but uh, what is your feeling and um, how would you adapt to this i mean i i, I think it, you know the more the more um verified these the reviews are um the more people will i believe reviews um and i said from my perspective that the whole point of of responding to review is to promote your property yourself so you can um you know uh, try and um a steer more direct business or length of stay booking. So the more reliable um, the source, um, the more hopefully property managers will actually respond to them. And I think that for me, the future means that rather than maybe spending a lot of money doing sales and marketing with other channels, uh, that you will realize that answering um, mm -hmm. reviews and adding sales and marketing, which is free, um, will attract it's a, a vicious, you know, not a vicious circle, but it's a circle. So the more authentic they are, the more you'll get, the more you respond to them, the more you get. So obviously it's, it's a good thing, but <laughs> the technology behind it, I'm sure it's fantastic. <laughs> Look, the, the technology you're using today is extremely complicated, but it's, it feels simple because it's been enough time to make it simple. So whatever happens behind the scene doesn't really matter. It's just going to be another interface where you do things pretty similarly, and that's all. You're just going to know who owns what, that's all. Christoph, what do you think? Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it's uh, for me crystal clear that it's where, where we have to, to go. And, uh, and um, 
Well, I was also pleased to to listen in um, in another panel to uh, Stefano uh, Barale uh, that that uh, that was saying that um, the ownership of data regarding union, union, uh, European Union regulations tend to give uh, the ownership to to people and not to to company. And I mean, this is absolutely uh, well the, what uh, what is Web three about and. Uh, and the good thing is to to see that uh, even uh, um, in uh, regulation, uh, the European Union at, at least they are they are working on it and uh, going to this to this trend. So, I mean, at the end, that that's what we all um, tech companies should uh, should work on and uh, and slowly go to to, to Web three. Yeah, there's definitely a whole uh, tension between the interest of these mega corporations and the interest of citizens yeah yes yeah. uh, it's a big challenge but uh, uh, let's let's work on it okay uh, you, you know uh, uh, one or one of the initial examples that people give on blockchain and uh, and web3 in general is to be able to rent an uber without uber rent it directly from the driver with the trust that I am a person with an account that can pay you and there is a digital contract that if I took the ride, you're going to get paid without any discussions uh, because you're going to get paid by the computers, not by me anymore, because I, I kind of uh, 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 deposit the payment in my account. And if the contract is, uh, is adhered to, uh, the, the, the money goes directly to, to the driver. So uh, uh, there is a, a, a very big change that is going to happen with uh, Web3. Uh, uh, it will help a lot of, of uh, 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 private uh, business owners to, to really own the this thing. Um, yeah, Dror was actually I, I lost him for a second, so I'm gonna I'm gonna chime in. Um, the now the situation today is that for the last at least ten years since Airbnb came, and even before, people have. Uh, got reviews and these reviews are on the OTAs okay um, what if we could back them up get all the reviews from all the OTAs and save them on the blockchain wasn't that your idea drawer uh yeah this was uh Can this was uh, 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 I haven't my idea. I haven't replied yet. I'm afraid you don't want to say it public publicly because <laughs> But no, you're not, right? So what, what is the idea uh, of backing up the reviews? Uh, they're, they're backing up the reviews. It's uh, making them uh, back, uh, giving them back to the to the ownership of the of the uh, property owners. And uh, you know, uh, uh, when when you want to drop from one platform to uh, and move to the other platform, and, and I think that uh, Christoph is, is doing this already, uh, almost with a widget or whatsoever, but. <clears throat> If it's if it's uh, uh, on on the blockchain, then no one, but really no one, can touch your reviews anymore. Yeah, and how would you do this? Like, how would you work technically? How how would you do this? Um, how would you get the reviews from the OTAs? Uh, you can uh, you can uh, uh, create a. a, a, a an interface where where the uh, uh, reviews are are put on on a blockchain platform and and then liaised to the to the OTAs and when they uh, 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 direct the customer to write a, a review it will be directed to that uh, platform it will retain all the reviews and, uh, and and by that you just own it. Okay, but uh, there's no, Christoph, correct me if I'm, if I'm wrong, I asked you this last time, there's no API for reviews, right? You, no, how no. do you get them? No, we're, we're just scrapping. You, scra you scrape them, so you basically send a bot to read the web page, right? Correct. What, what if uh, we do this, like we say, okay, let's back, back up everything on the blockchain, uh, will the OTAs kind of stop the scraping and how easy it is to stop the, scra stop the scraping? Forget now if it's legal or illegal, because I'm sure this is going to be a big discussion, but will they allow us to do this? Will they, is it easy for them to stop us or not? Well, I mean, uh, according to us, as long as you mention the source, you link to the source and mm -hmm. uh, everything is clear in, in, 
according to where, where the, the review comes from, uh, we think it's, uh, it's perfectly fine. It's technically easy to um, scrape, and is it technically easy for them to stop the scraping? Um, well, they, they can they can stop. I mean, uh, this is something they can perfectly do. Yeah. Regarding if it's easy to to do, if you have the the, the correct tools to to do it, it's not uh, it's not uh, something very very complicated, right? There was this um, the, we this. We discussed this uh, with other people, and they said the only way to do this and not be stopped is to have uh, like a Chrome plugin where the host clicks and, and lets and scrapes only his his or her own reviews. So there's no, you know, it's, it's difficult for for the OTAs um, to to kind of realize this is a big operation. But that would require everyone to do this, and it's not going to be possible. I think this does make sense if. Every single review is backed up on the blockchain, and nobody is responsible for that. Kind in an anon anonymous way, like uh, Satoshi created Bitcoin. It's like if Bitcoin was created asking the banks, uh, no, you just do it, and then and then see what happens, right? What do you think, George? Uh, I, I think that uh, uh, to start with, uh, you have to uh, you have to do it uh, in a in a guerrilla way, uh, because uh, if you go and ask people for for permission, it's it's not going to happen. Um, and, and you have to show the value before they, they get to work with you of, of scrapping. Uh, but in order to put it on the, on the, uh, uh, on the blockchain, you need to care of the authenticity as well. So you need to scrap not only the review, but, uh, the sources and make sure that, uh, what you put on the blockchain is really trustable. That's a challenge. Um, and, and once, uh, uh, or, or at least, uh, you know, uh, 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 try to get the person's approval or something like this, uh, we have to find a way, but, uh, uh we have to get to, uh, to, uh, uh, a critical mass before the market start to, uh, to understand that there is a big change now of, of yeah. ownership of the, uh, I think the, yeah. the, the key, the key is there is, uh, is that, um, it's not, um, we're not talking about going against uh, OTA and 100% uh, in favor of uh, Book Direct. Uh, I mean, it's a, it's a, it's a, the, the balance balance of two worlds is perfectly possible, where every stakeholder has uh, his um, his advantages of, uh, of of everything, and uh, working in uh, in uh, all together, uh, bringing better um, tools and uh, better better experience both for property managers uh, mm -hmm. owners, and also for, for guests. And I think uh, this, is, this is the clue, working uh, all together, not com competing and trying to, to take the, 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 the guest uh, or the property managers and owner to, 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 to take them uh, and to tie, to tie them uh, with the terms and conditions that are a bit extreme, but at the end, bringing more value all together in, uh, in, uh, in the short-term rental uh, ecosystem. Yeah, we have a, a bit more adversarial view uh, on the Web3 or the blockchain uh, side of this. We, we see um, what the OTAs are doing as, uh, of course, understandable because it's a business, they invested, they, they, they need to repay their investors. But uh, we feel uh, as there's been a lot of capturing of the value, even in especially reviews, which are they are completely in their hands, and uh, but they haven't written them, and they are not about them; they're about the whole. So, what I want to say is that uh, I like the word drawer use, which is guerrilla. I don't think we can get out of this uh, um, in a in a soft way. This is going to be pretty pretty hard. The moment you start. Uh, poking holes in their silos and you, you take their reviews in their view away from them they're gonna get angry and it's gonna be nasty so uh, that's why it has to be done in, a, in an anonymous way in my opinion I don't know if you heard about Satoshi Nakamoto who is the inventor of Bitcoin who nobody knows who he is because if he knew he would probably be in jail or, or, or killed so this can get really 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 nasty so uh, I don't know how we're gonna get there, but I'm sure the OTAs would fight back. And if I was an OTA, I would fight back because they are fighting against my 
my my values, right? Uh, it's not see. only the oh, value, the, the dominance. Right now, they dominate the the, 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 the rules and, and, and everything, and they can threaten a, a, a property owner to, to get him off the platform. And and one thing, that, and, and, and one most important thing that uh, that uh, an owner is going to lose going out of a platform is the is, is the re reviews and b uh, uh, on his listing uh, on another platform he cannot uh, bring the reviews with him so so uh, uh, what what this what this move is going to do is is going to detach the the balance of power from the OTAs and bring it back to the owners yeah so basically in my view, they already have overstepped their, their. I mean, they, they went too far, uh, and that platforming is one great example. You, you, you know, these people have been working on Airbnb for five years, thousand reviews. They wake up in the morning, and the listing is suspended because one guy, one guest said that there was a camera, and that wasn't a camera, it was a gas, you know, a, a CO2. Uh, would you call it? one of these CO2 uh, uh, distinguishers, yes. Yeah, whatever. So uh, people get lose everything in a day because some stupid reason often, right? So the power of the OTAs is too much to, to be fair. And I think we should just fight back. This is my view. I'm, I've been called an anarchist. I don't think I am. I just think we as people should have uh, control of, of our value. We shouldn't be stripped off them just because mm -hmm. They are, it's built on, on a specific platform, right? Uh, but yeah, there's going to be a very long discussion for the next year. So there's no danger that we won't talk about this anymore. Let me see what Antonio see. said. Um, let's all bear in mind that anonymous reviews... No, sorry. that's a, Oh, he had something at the end. Okay. In a way, time, speed, and execution is key to build a massive database of reviews to position yourself in a sweet spot. If you remember a few years ago, it was initially possible for a Facebook advertiser to mm -hmm. scrape old contacts from groups and use them for retargeting. Then Facebook stopped the possibility. In a similar way, OTAs may realize some, soon the danger of allowing scraping for reviews and, and stop it. Um, yeah, well, that could happen. That's, uh, if, if it gets, uh, uh, like if they feel they're losing value, they could do it. Um, and we'll see, we'll see. It, it, I, I don't think it's, it's gonna be easy uh, and uh, and and friendly. It's just gonna it's gonna be a, a, a an arm race. Uh, since Antonio is here, let me remind that uh, Christoph with reviews is a finalist of Vacation Rental World Summit 2020 in October. The Tech. The Tech. Tech. Yeah, but it, it's inside it's the. It's during the the Vacation Rental yeah. World Summit. So there's this conference in October. Um, Sorry, is it November this year? October, October. Oh, it's October, okay. And the Vacation Rental World Summit from Antonio. And inside this, historically, there's always been the VR tech from uh, Rentals United. Vanessa organizes this. It's a, it's a um, competition between startups. And there are three startups, three finalists who make it to the, to the conference. And one of them is, is Review. So congratulations for that. Thank you. And uh, you're certainly doing Thank something you, really important for the for the industry. Um, I just want to end with something which is completely unrelated, but it's it's so funny and interesting that, and it also allows you to understand a bit more what we're talking about with with uh, um, with blockchain. But before I do this, do you guys want to add something? Anything? No. Everything fine? Good. Everything cool. uh, let me see if I can share this. Yeah. Yep. You see these little guys, South Park guys? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. great. So this is an incredible thing I've seen today. Uh, Drawer will love this. Uh, this is a real-time visualization of the blockchain. In this case, the Ethereum blockchain. Um, oh, that's and amazing. I, yeah, I'm showing this because it, it allows us to understand what, how the blockchain works. So normally we have uh, servers like you know Airbnb or booking servers. Uh, while the server of the of, of trips or of any other um, blockchain-based booking portal is is a network of computers, right? So the the guys, the people are transactions, 
each of these guys is a payment or could be a review okay so they come in they are created and they wait to go on the next bus uh, the bus is is bringing them to the blockchain and save them forever and the more you pay the faster you get in right so you're not paying for servers so trips doesn't have any server costs but there are costs for making bookings for writing reviews etc these costs in our case are paid by origin protocol um so the, the the software and the company we work with so the user doesn't have to actually pay anything in other cases the user may have to pay a few cents um for for doing that but basically what i'm showing you here is web tree okay you do transactions you pay for the transactions you don't pay for servers there's no server but there's a network of computers and nobody can change this so Let's say the guy who gets in now in the bus, the yellow guy, the top guy. Let's see who goes in. Okay, these people who just got in, they're leaving in a few seconds to go to be saved forever on a series of servers, which is called the blockchain. Okay, it's a decentralized way to save data and transactions. And this is happening now in real time. Okay, these are not reviews, these are not bookings yet. Right now, these are mostly uh people buying and selling cryptocurrencies on the left side there are the apps so you can imagine on the left side uh trips or you can imagine a thousand booking portals where transactions happens happen and they are saved on the blockchain let me go back stop sharing this okay let me also share this in the chat if somebody wants to play with it so what i've just uh, uh, showed you you know i didn't want to show you this because it's the first time that we can show the blockchain i don't know if you agree Dror. this is this is changing everything in the way to explain the blockchain isn't it uh yeah yeah uh <laughs> you know i uh i'm running a, a a short presentation about an hour uh, about blockchain and how it changes the world and everything and uh, um it's it's a very good visualization of of how things are, are working yeah great so okay um thank you thank you very much guys and thank you very much for the the people who were listening and intervening um we're gonna take uh, a break until until august uh when actually antonio is gonna be present in a panel we're gonna talk about customer acquisition there's gonna be also michael ross sorry antonio from vacation rental war summit we mentioned before and there's gonna be also michael ross from uh bedroom which is a new way to to get bookings with a membership model this is going to be on the 17th of august and then we start again in september so uh thank you very much joan thank you christophe thank you, thank thank you. it's been amazing thank you i'll uh, send an email when we are online and with the video perfect have a nice uh summer thank you bye 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 bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.